Hello, this is Wild Mittens Meow with another gold making video. So this is kind of like a continuation of the video I last did regarding the 1.7 million gold I made in the last 30 days. I forgot to communicate um, additional cells I did that added up to quite a bit. And because it wasn't really a total, the high amounts, I kind of went over the higher gold amounts, but um this stuff actually added up to a, a lot of gold so um basically i do a lot of cooking so with oxygenator oxygenator puts this little search button here and it'll search the um auction house and it'll tell you if things are profitable to, to make and um so like right now this is telling me if i was to buy these items the fish instead of going and fishing on your own i bought the stuff when it was cheap so right now the aromatic uh, seafood platter is going for only 20 gold if you look at my average amount that i sell for i usually i sold it for is usually about 36 gold so clearly the price has dropped so that's why the profit here has dropped because Alfin dorado has gone down in price a lot, lot of stuff is dropping down because we're getting towards the end of the um the expansion people are starting to drop their things and they're starting to um, not need this food as well because people are getting done with the raid and they're getting done with all that stuff. So, um, but I did do a lot of this back when it first came out with the new raid that came out. I sold a lot and, um, that's where a lot of the totals came from. I was kind of looking at the, the list. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Completely forgot about the cooking. So I'll kind of go over real quick. You kind of see the aromatic seafood platter. Again, I've sold a lot, and the average price usually up to 36 gold. The highest price I sold it at is 48 gold each. So, um, and then I did a lot of sales on feisty fish sticks, um, as high as 74 gold each. Um, medium amount, and basically the median, the median amount is going to be about a 42 gold each. The average amount. Um, the lowest was about 33 gold, but like right now, if you search it, it'll tell me there's a, a profit loss again, because it's currently going for only 20 gold. So, um, this one here too, a letter drop, the, the Great Cer Cerulean C. Um, so a lot of those, um, as high as 40, 54 gold, as low as 37 gold right now, they're going for 19 gold. Again, no profit. I haven't been selling many of this at all recently. You see, 13 days ago, this was 19 days ago, this one here was actually 8, no, oh, I see, um, the feast I don't really do a lot of, but only what I really did was the hearty stew one, um, let me see, let me look at this one, 25 gold, T9 gold loss, fortune cookies, another situation where, um, there's some profit in it, the average pr purchase price Sell price, I'm sorry, sold, sold price is 29 gold. Um, did I look at that right? Yeah, sold. <laughs> I was like, wait a bit. So I forget that I bought some of this too. Um, so this one here, the average sell price for the faded fortune cookie is 28 gold. So I do continue to sell a lot of those. You can see it's just six days ago I sold some. And the faded cookies, faded fortune cookies, I make it myself. I just buy, um, well, let me look at what. Hold on. Which which herb is the? It's the uh, bubble poppy. That one there. Whatever. I find out it's really cheap. So I'll usually go and I'll buy that out and I'll flip that for the serene pigment and make the serene fortune and then flip those into the serene fortune into the oh gosh go away the faded fortune cookie. So that's how usually I make, I still have some right now actually I can, I can make. But this is also another one of situations where the, if you do decide to do this, especially with the Faded Fortune Cookie, it still sells a lot of, I still sell a lot of them. Um, these uh, vendor items, they're usually cheaper on the auction house. <laughs> I don't, still don't notice that. Your biggest cost is going to be this silken gem dust. So if you have a tool crafter that can break that the gems down for that gem dust, that'd be a lot more um, profitable to yourself. But 
Um, usually I just sell, I just buy it off the auction house. Um, but I do have a Joe Crafter, but by the time you break it down, it's just not worth the time. <laughs> it takes a while. Unless you can buy the real cheap, um, mine, uh, what do you call it? The cheaper, uh, mineral. Can't think of what it's called right now off my head. But, um, but it's something to kind of think about, and I forgot to mention, is that these. I did not <laughs> think about that when I made the last video. So, um, but just wanted to do a quick video on that and how cooking can also still be profitable with the Faded Fortune cookie. It is a good item to get into if you do have a inscriptionist. Um, my inscriptionist is currently maxed out, isn't she? Let me see. Close to it? Yeah, close. She's not quite. Like I said, I, don't, I didn't really work out really, really hard on the, the Dragonfight um, professions because it was just too much but I just kind of pick and choose what I like to do um so and I'm still <laughs> I'm still not maxed out you can kind of look at my I'm getting there but it's still got prof still got things to do same things to work on but um but definitely if you could if you can buy those I'm gonna kind of look at that price right now yeah it's cheap so like I would buy these out because I would buy them as high as one gold and if you break these down, like, see, people are dropping their stuff. But the Freddy Fortune cookies, I'm going to flip this. I might even do it right now. 5,000. See, 5,000. I can flip that. I'm going to do it right now. But not right now. But after I get on the video, I'm going to break them down. But, um, basically, <laughs> that's, what, that's a part of the whole total of 1.7 million it was cooking as well. Cooking was a big part of it. I could cut cookies. Let's look into that. Like a total amount. The last 30 days of just a faded cookie, 195,000 gold. Um, the seafood platter, only sold in the last 30 days, 9,000. Clearly, I haven't done much sales on those, but total, 176,000. Um, let me kind of get through here. I want to grab another one. Come on, the video's re recording right now. Um, Oh yeah, I'm going right away. Let's go down here further. This way to cookies. How about those? I'm gonna look up Yusa. I know I made a lot on those. Um, take the the hearty stews. Yeah. Let me go here. Let me click into it. Yeah, two hundred four thousand on that one. The other one is a thousand bone. Let me look up that. Hold up. There it is. So I sold 432 of those. In the last three days, I made 20,000 on that one. And not many on this one now. It's only going to be 17. But basically, the faded cookie, just looking at faded cookie, that is where it's still being gold, still gold being made there on the faded cookies, faded fortune cookies. And with, if you decide to, um, another thing I sell, sell quite, sell quite a few, not a lot, is the faded recipe that you can get when you, uh, flip, um, flip some fortunes. You can get some of those, but I have so many now, I have 40, <laughs> so I'm still trying to sell them. They don't sell as frequent though, so it's just something you can always keep on the auction house. But, again, faded fortune cookie, it's, it's big, it can... It could get you pretty close to a, um, uh, let me look here again, 195. I just want that. Did I just get that? I did. I want to just fade a fortune cookie, 95,000. Um, and again, I think I don't do it a lot because of time wise, it takes a while to break down the herbs and stuff like that and then go and buy, you know, but it's still, <laughs> I'm kind of rambling now, but. I made a lot of gold from just cooking alone. So if you get Auctionator, run that search, see if things are, are profitable at the time and that the someone, because people reset the prices, the people that have more more gold on hand where they can flip the, uh, they can increase the cost, increase the, like right now this is the market value is at 26 gold and it's down to 20. Someone could spy those out and make some gold, but that's just, I like taking the risk on those. I've done it and been 
I've lost cold doing that, so <laughs> I don't do that often. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, and that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me for another gold making video. Um, I will be making, making more of these in the next few days, weeks, months coming ahead. <laughs> um, because I do enjoy talking about it and I do enjoy making gold on, on World of Warcraft just passively. Just, not really passively per se, but just while you play the game. I still do the weeklies, I do the Aiden and the Accords, I still get out there and I do the quests and I do the new event they just came out with their, their archaeology event, the archaeology quest things. I like doing that. I like collecting pets and mounts and stuff like that. So I do a lot of that. So this kind of stuff is on the side. Um, but it's just something to think about. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video again. Thank you so much for joining me as I start this uh, go-making channel and sharing how I do it. Thank you so much.